can say hello to my big ghoulish friends whilst we're here as well. Hello fairies. G loves trains here. I'm in the Isle of Man where today I'm going to be having a day riding the buses. I'm just outside of Douglas Ward Street Station. Yes, a station, would you believe? It's an outdoorsy one. It's basically just several stops in a row, but we are just waiting for our first bus now. Okay, so we've just got day tickets which only cost £5 each. I'm very surprised at that. The first bus we're on is 267, which I've been told is a Mercedes-Benz Sotaro. And we are just travelling on the five routes which is going to take us to Peel. What do you think of these buses? Fantastic. I think this buzz is fantastic too. I love these free seats at the back here. They've got USB ports. And my favourite thing about this buzz is the funky round stop buttons. I love them. We've gone off at Peel Town Hall. It's a short walk, I think, down to where the castle and the lighthouse is. So I'm going to go have a look at all that lot. absolutely freezing right now we were hoping to get a coffee from this little shop thing just next to the castle but it's closed unfortunately uh, we have got quite a while to wait as well until the next bus I did want to make sure we came to Peel as well today because this side of the island isn't served by trains so if we ever end up back here in the future and do a day on the trains we wouldn't be able to get to Peel we found this little kiosk by the beach where we grabbed a coffee. Need this just to warm my hands up, honestly. Cheers. Cheers. We're back in our favourite seats on the next bus. It's 269 and it's another Mercedes-Benz Citaro. We're just waiting to depart Peel now and we're headed for Ramsey on this one. It's the 5C route. <laughs> I've just noticed the maquettes on the seats here do actually have the Isle of Man flag with the three legs on them. The views on these bus routes are absolutely spectacular. I've just moved over to the side of the bus because you can see the sea down there. Well, it's not hard to miss where Ramsey bus station is. I actually really need a wee right now and luckily I've just seen a sign for public toilets. So uh, yeah, we're definitely going there first things first. Something that we have noticed over the past few days being in the Isle of Man is that there are massive bins. Like everywhere you go, the bins are huge. The ones here, these big blue ones, I'm wondering if they're taller than me. This is interesting, they're having some sort of game of chess or something or other. I think this one's winning. We should have brought some chess pieces because we've actually had our own game here on this table. Just come for a little walk down by the beach whilst we're waiting for the next bus. We can see Queen's Pier ahead of us there. Uh, I don't think you can actually walk down that at the minute though, I think they might be doing it up. But it does make for a very pretty view with the hills in the background as well. Hello my friend, I am making friends with all the bins whilst they're so big. As we're making our way back to the bus station, we are just passing Ramsey Railway Station. That is absolutely adorable, and I'm sure we will be back here one day. We're getting on 264. It's another Mercedes-Benz Citaro. We have seen other kinds of buses, but um, yeah, we just seem to keep getting on these ones. Uh, this is the Route 3, and we're going to Laxey on this one. The great thing about these buses is that they do have screens telling you what the next stop is, which is very helpful for people 
like us who have no idea when we're getting off the bus. Just got off at Laxey railway station. The actual railway station is just down there. Again, on that route, the views out the windows were just absolutely breathtaking. We've not actually got a lot of time here at Laxey. We're gonna have a quick walk to the Laxey wheel because it's one of those things when you visit the Isle of Man, you've got to go and see it. We are just passing the Great Laxey Mine Railway on the way up to the wheel. It is just a 10 minute walk from the bus stop to the wheel itself. Right, we've made it to the Laxey wheel, which is the largest functioning water wheel in the world. And now we're gonna head straight back to get the bus. Yep, we're on another Mercedes-Benz Sotaro, but it is a different unit, it's 251. We're back on the 3 route off to Douglas, or Doolish as the front of the bus says. I'm guessing Doolish is the Manx word for Douglas. And once again, we sat on the right-hand side of the bus, and the main views tend to be out of the left-hand side. I have noticed that there's no USB ports on this unit, so it must be an older model. You know when you talk about buses, these are vehicles, not units? Shut your mouth, look out the window. We are running right alongside the electric railway right now. Thank you. And we're back where we started in Douglas. We are just changing over here to head to the south of the island. Just come to the promenade for have a look at the sea whilst we're waiting. And we are actually pretty close to the Tower of Refuge here. We're on 214, which is again a Mercedes-Benz Sotaro. And I'm told this is one with an older bodywork. And we are on the 2A route to Castle Town. to the ferries when you cross over Ferry Bridge and it was really helpful that the announcements just reminded us to do that. You can tell that this bus is older as well because the stop buttons are slightly different and this is the first bus we've been on today where when you actually press the stop button it makes a noise. Just got off the bus at Castle Town Square next to the co-op. In front of me I can actually see uh, Castle Rushton as well. It is closed at the moment and we have only got 20 minutes in Castle Town so we are going to have a very quick walk. And also I didn't realise Castle Town was so close to the airport. Uh, we did make a call at Ronald's Way on the way just then on the bus. I've just come to have a look at Castle Town Bay. Castle Town Lighthouse is here as well. And I've just been having a look through the binoculars here, which you don't have to pay for, by the way. You can just see straight out into the distance through them. We are on our final bus now. We forgot to look at the numbers, so I'll get it when we get off. We are also on the school run, but we are actually on a different kind of bus, oh my days. We are on, what kind of bus is it? It's a right Eclipse Gemini 2. It's a right Eclipse Gemini 2. Bodied Volvo. Bodied Volvo. B90L. B90L. It's a Gemini 2. B90L Volvo something or other. It is a double decker. We've caught to the top deck. We are on the 11 route all the way to Port Erin. We've got a different maquette on the seats on this bus as well. It's got red and yellow squares as opposed to the Isle of Man three legs. was the number we got off at Port Erin railway station I think the railway station is just here yes it is uh, we're gonna have a walk down to the beach 
There is a railway museum as well. Did not know that was there. Oh friggin. <laughs> I nearly just tripped over there. Was wondering what that was up on the top of that hill there. I've just read it's called Milner's Tower. Just gonna head down these stairs now, which will take us to the beach. Yeah, look, it's all public convenience instead of public toilets here, Jim. Actually, that says pubic convenience. There's a jellyfish here. Someone's drawn a circle around it. Watch the jellyfish, jump. Well, what a wonderful day that has been traveling around the island on the buses. Initially, we were gonna have a day on the trains, but I didn't realize that the trains on the Isle of Man don't run all year round. Like they literally start running in about two weeks time. So I had to come up with a different plan and the best way to get around the island is with bus vanning. I really enjoyed traveling on the buses today. They're super modern, super comfy and really cheap as well. Like I still can't get over that it's just five pounds to travel all across the island. I've also learned that on the Isle of Man there's a lot of public toilets, a lot of spas and shop rights and loads of scenic views. Chances are we'll be back here one day in the future. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Bye! Bye!